So on the lift here, we have a 1995 Kawasaki KDX 200, which we are trying to bring back to life so we can ride it, because these are really fun bikes to play with. Um, so this is the first year of the last generation. It's in all original, condi decent condition, but the problem is it doesn't run. So when looking into this, checking the obvious things, we come to find out that uh, it doesn't have spark at the spark plug, but it has a weak spark at the spark plug wire. So I'll zoom in a little bit here and, and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here you're looking at the spark plug grounded on the head, and I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up or not, hopefully. Which, what it's going to pick up is no spark, so. Give it a few good kicks. Nothing. Okay, now with the spark plug cap removed, we'll ground it to the head again. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a spark now with the cap removed, although I think it's a weak spark. Okay, so now that you can see what we have going on here as far as the no spark with the spark plug, a spark but probably weak um, with the spark plug wire grounded and the plug cap removed. Um, of course, we went ahead and did the normal test Kawasaki provides for this model and everything checks out good. So from here, I think we'll just go ahead and clean this thing up. It, uh, it's pretty dirty underneath the bodywork. And once we get this thing running, who knows, maybe we'll just rebuild the whole engine and really, really tighten this whole bike up, go through, go through it top to bottom and make it, make it the fun play bike it once was. Um, but yeah, we have this confusing spot where everything appears to be correct, however it's not, because the bike doesn't run. So mostly the point here is if we can iron this out, you know, there's a lot of these bikes out there and then somebody else runs into this problem, it'll you know make it a little bit easier to to uh, figure out what it is and and get it going because these bikes are going to live on forever So the bike's cleaned up now. I did a little research and I was a bit suspicious based on that everything tested good but didn't work right, that this CDI might be an issue. So OEM ones are still available. However, they're like four or $500. So that didn't seem like a good option. Then of course, jumped on eBay and this company here, um, the one I found, they didn't send it to me anything. I just found this and bought it. 15 bucks. I thought, hey, gambling $15, not a bad idea. And that has solved our problem. So let me show you what this spark plug looks like now. All right, check it out. It has great spark now. So this thing's ready to get put back together and, and uh, go do some riding.